So here we are, pre get sort of give this a run. You can right hear how noisy it is. But the Great Western Hall freight train as the large ferry goes past in the background. And we need to follow this because it's doing the same thing again. You know, this is this is ridiculous. I thought they said it's fine. But the dream has been lived. Here's two Great Western trains running. <laughs> a freight and a passenger train. However, that last priority is going to get stuck again. So let's follow the uh, 38 again. So yes, literally about to depart. Let's give the uh, prairie a nudge. I'm not far from actually departing myself now to uh, to get. So yeah, let's see how today goes. Here you come. Oh look. It's just ridiculous, it really is. <laughs> I just think this is one of the model of the year. Yeah. Anyway. Let's get on and get off. For fun and excitement and meeting Anthony and Joyce again today and hopefully Dino and, and all the others as well. And it stopped again. Right, I'm going to go and take those off before he does itself an injury. <laughs> right, catch you later on. Yeah, yeah. You know the control pump? Yeah. 
does work. Uh -huh. Just don't use it. Oh. Yeah, yeah. But it, that, it's that, it's that, purely that, for the good, good yard. Right. If you look at the diagram, it's the good yard diagram. Right. And it's on a totally separate circuit. Uh, we can't kind of, kind of show what our exhibition should be done because it's far better to get the business and get it in No, see, we, we're more interested in the youth culture than in the major accident. It, it, it would be in a lot of buildings for, for the actual scenic uh, <laughs> contours for the grass areas. It's a mixture actually, some of it's more style but now, now, if we was doing it now, I would use um, the extruder post out, you know, things down there. Uh, that's what you want to do. It's stuff that you find in skips, it's perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's perfect. Because it, 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 a bit of surfboard or a bit, just a bit of sandpaper, you can shape it up, you can shape it up really nicely. Uh, just be careful of breathing a bit, see. But it's not like the old, some of the, no, no. the, the old public stuff that goes in. Hello everyone and welcome. As you see any light flickering, I'm actually still I'm watching Anthony Dodge, the one train outsider, and do his weekend wrap up at the same time, but I can feel myself I've done a lot longer ride back and I feel myself to sort of going, so I thought let's get the video done. So again not much footage, just be mostly because um there's so many people filming and I'm like I'm not adding anything to this. So I'll do a couple of layouts I thought were cool. Uh, there were more layouts I thought were cool than this this year this year but um yeah it's a it's a nice two 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 sort of ones I, I enjoyed now i did a bit more shopping than i thought i was going to do than i intended to than i really should have done probably but it's done um so yeah um just want to say thank you to everyone that came today i'll see amazing to meet anthony joyce again um yeah the last goodbye um of this trip for them which is in Edmonton, you know going from Leamington Junction uh Andy Hot Dog Pilot and his son Richard I believe um and Dino it was a hard one it was a hard one that final cheerio but wow, what a day and what great people have I met today and how welcome have I been made to feel and how much of a, a wider thing have been made to feel actually in, in, in the best possible way. You usually hear that on these uh, prevent cases or something, don't you? So in no particular order, uh, I've got some more cards. I actually need to go on my wall of trains. So, Mama Railway Shed, Dino. What a gentleman, what an honour to meet you, sir. Splendid, fantastic. I met, oh, of course, all, all of these people really are gentlemen and scholars, of course, uh, of the highest order. Damn fine chaps. <laughs> and that here goes for Pete of Delft Junction. And now, Pete, I did meet you last year, but I don't actually appear to have had your cards last year. I don't know if you had them or not, but... Um, that is a rather splendid colour. I love the fact this is actually embossed. That's uh, rather lovely, that. Um, this, uh, all the cards are fantastic, but it's interesting what people have done. Some people commenting on my ones, and yeah, you know. So, uh, yeah. Now, oh, one of these on the wall of trains already, but why do you have one when you can have two of the great Lord Owl? <laughs> This card here, Dragon Dragon from Mark II. Warmly greeted isn't the word. It isn't the phrase. It's an understatement. Massive understatement. 
Lordal, it was a it was a firm handshake handshake. It was uh, sort of, you know, who 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 are you? What's your one? Let him know. You know, and he was you know, welcome, well, come come and join in this and you know, got to do you gotta do this and uh, and uh, you, 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 must, you, you must come to the meet later and it, oh you know and he said isn't he actually could have commented about oh, what a wonderful thing all these people you get to meet and everything and yeah <laughs> Lord Alsa you are a absolute living legend amongst us great <sighs> small junction Paris and Paul absolute pleasure to meet both of you today um, and fellow Great West enthusiasts, that always gets the uh, the bonus there. But no, lovely to meet you as well. And again, oh, what ev everyone I met, wonderful time. There's people I haven't got the card for, a card for that I met today. And we have Timber Surf, the legend that is, who organised the fantastic meetup today. And thank you, Timber, for the hard work you put into org actually organising that, organising a space for us to go to. Um. I, uh, yes, I, I I enjoyed meeting so many of you today. Um, Chelmsford Junction, another guy. Wow, it's Chelmsford Junction. You know, when he made the switch to Engage all that time ago, it was like, wow, a channel that I know gets a fair amount of hits doing Engage. This is fantastic. Um, what, what a lovely bloke he was to talk to as well. You know, Ollie of well i knew wardle road apparently is now wardle restoration which i need to go now find on youtube to subscribe to me but again in a weird way it's fair enough. it's you when you know and this is something i'm pleased to be saying when people go not doing it's you you know but it was that sort of and he was telling me about when he was working he used to have my my strike shunting streams on you know playing the lorry playing the live oh wow so Looks like I need to get my England at working again, <laughs> especially for Ollie. But yeah, wonderful to meet him. Um, oh, forgive me if I forget, if I forget it on. I did meet Route Seven again. I met oh, who did I? Oh, see, I saw Charlie Bush. I saw the likes of him, Ch Ch uh, Jenny Kirk, uh, Richard. What something New Junction. Of course, I had a lovely little chat with Peachy TT One Twenty. Again, a gentleman and a scholar, and a quick. I, 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 I really, Peachy, if you watch this video, I, I really do. Um, thank you for the um, for the quick chat and the shared little bit of geekery about um, Michael Caine for a brief moment in time, especially in his older films. Um, yeah, it was, it was fantastic. Um, yeah, so so uh, I, I I I really really appreciated that. Um, John, is it JMC? Um, works for Redis Cart Trains, who's actually with Hallby Magazine on their stand today, running their TT layout. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, again, lovely bloke. It was great. He, he gave me some advice last Sunday. I was asking some, some bits, and he gave me some advice, and it was like, oh, you know, just be able to thank him in person for taking time out during his stream to answer some questions there. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm really sorry if I forget anyone. I'm trying my best. Um, God, my mind's gone blank. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is awful. Um, Robert from Robert's Train Set. Another lovely handshaker. Oh, do you know, <laughs> I, I'd like I'd like to think we can all adopt him as our uncle. You know, he's he's such a lovely man. You know, and and I did get to hear a bit of him and his banter with Alan Wilde as well, which was amazing. Um, <laughs> I'd I'd pay to watch that. <laughs> I'd pay to watch that on stage for an hour or so. <laughs> um, yes. Oh wow, and 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 Richard from Trains in the Attic. Um, oh, I'm trying to remember everyone I met now. This is this is where the cards are really useful for my brain. Um, and I'll see these are in no particular order. There was a guy called Dale who lives 
next sort of village up from me, or let's go, well, maybe a couple of them from me, who, uh, you know, I've met at Alistair Station before, and again, we had a really good chat, and he, he came in to try and help me find something. We didn't find one in the end, although I did actually find one in the end, but not in the livery I thought I was going to get in. But, uh, yeah, you know, and again, it was really great interaction. Anyone, anyone I've missed, it's not, it's just because, like I say, at the beginning, I said at the beginning, I'm filming this now because I can feel myself starting to go. <laughs> so, yeah. So, what did I get? What did I get today, I suppose, is, is the next question. You've watched the little intro bit with the very noisy 2800 and the misbehaving large prairie. Is he even still doing Engage? Is the question he's mentioned TT. Mm. Well, I am still doing Engage. <laughs> Though, um, I must admit, I must admit, TT might be on the horizon. Um, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm going to watch it with interest. I'll put it that way. I shall watch it with interest, which is why it's just saying to, to Peachy, you know, thank you for doing what you do because I want to keep an eye on TT. Um, using him and Max Trains as my main main source of information. There is another guy. Is it? Let's make TT one one TT one twenty. I would love to meet him in person and just talk to him and say the same thing. You know. That you know, seeing what's going on in the world of TT, keep an eye on it. And should things appear that actually are suitable for my interests, because I have a very specific layout in mind um, that I'd want to do, and and that would be, yeah, that would be uh, um, that would be great. So I'm, I'm keeping in mind, but that's going to be looking towards the garage. Uh, so if it's not engaging there, it will be possibly. Possibly TT, depending if anything ever actually appears, what I want. But uh, yeah, right. So I didn't get any TT. I did get something out of gauge though. So stand by. Right. First up, this is something I have seen on eBay. Uh, I came across it on there and thought, love that. And so I found one in person. I doubt if I posted for. It's actually cheaper than that as well. It was this Metropolitan? Uh, wagon. Now it says Metropolitan. It's not for the London Underground. It is actually for the it's actually the Metropolitan Railway Carriage and Wagon Work, Saltley, in Birmingham. Uh, that's the company that built the Orange. Uh, sorry. Yeah, it built the Orange Express cars. The the Wagon Lee coaches that are used on the Orange Express even today were built there in Smithwick. Um, yeah. Totally works for that sort of isn't it? But yeah, so this is the company that built them. So that's that's what I wanted. I love local sort of white ones. I'm very very partial to Birmingham. Well, next thing I went and did was I went and collected my my order. Now I've already paid for this system. This I don't think it's quite counts as one of today's purchases, but uh, uh, they didn't they only had one of my orders. Uh, annoyingly, initially, really irritating me. I suppose is the right word. Um, but they have posted the other one free of charge, which is really kind of them. So this is my Rapido Trains, class 28, weathered by um, TMC. It's one of their already weathered things. I didn't pay for it to be weathered. But uh, let me just show that. My Boko. Rolls off the tongue much better than Kobo. Not sure what the magic one's for, but I'll have to uh, read the instructions. It's interesting, the repeater have gone for an American style box. But what I like, I do like about this, there's no additional insert to get them out. It's more like a Kato box or one of the North American ones. So yes, so we've got a class 28 here. Which I'm sure will be running in shortly. If I stay awake. <laughs> um... So, next up was the outer gauge item from On The Rails, I got some one size fits all, Great Western socks, <laughs> got to have GWR socks wherever I can, so fantastic, if they work out well I shall get some more from them. Right, I'll try and do these in order. So next one was, well, if I've got a class 28, I'm going to need some of the uh, Conflat P's, 
I've got picked up one which has a mix of the bauxite and the um, crimson containers on them, and that can run ahead of a. I'll run to normal freights or something till till I get the full train. But yeah, so that's that was really cool. My first Rapido Engage wagon and Rapido Loco in Engage. Hopefully they don't fall up, jump apart as quick as their double O counterparts. <laughs> so. Next, I went looking for a Georgian train, Georgian Railways, uh, sorry, uh, Class 68. Um, and I was at TMC and uh, they didn't have one. But then, while I was chatting to them about that, I spotted them on the shelf behind them. And this is probably the most expensive wagon I'm ever going to buy. Um, at £99.99. .99. But it has been expertly weathered and customised, graffitied by hand. And usually I don't like graffiti, but I saw this one and thought, well, people that know me, know me have a penchant for RAF Bomber Command. And I have a bit of a, that is my other big passion is, is learning and researching Bomber Command. And, you know, that my, my uncle flew. And this is a J.I. wagon. And it's got the remember planes is the name of it so for those people who don't know you know it looks like already but there it is and you can see what i call my eye when you have three avro lancasters on on a wagon i thought that needs to come home with me you know i don't know what type of wagon this is on and what it hauls and to be honest with you i really don't care because that is amazing just, just a half of a wagon I can run that's got Lancasters on it. So that's an EFI rail product, that's rather nice. <laughs> so I just want to put the lid on properly. I don't want to bother in doing that because I want to take a photo of it in a minute to send to my chum. So a bit of time passed and we had the meet up and everything and we went around hunting for a 68 still. Ah. Uh, one stand, I came across this for the same price as the, uh, the one I brought weathered. So yes, it's another Class 28. Just to prove there are two. Now of course, the Bocos, Kobo just doesn't roll off the tongue as well. The Bocos ran in pairs. So I thought, oh, we could do it with another one. And I figured that the wagons are probably going to be easier to find in the future than the Locos. So, unlike that one, that one's full green, no yellow warning panels. This one is green, yellow warning panels. But it's also pristine, so I like to think that, well, that one's, um, that one's been running the rails for a, a while. And this one perhaps has just come out x works and it's had the yellow panel applied. So, yeah, so this is, that's D5700, this is D5711. Yep. So it is two of those to run that uh, Commodore freight service. Um, I will admit, one of my favourite pictures I took at Tings was um, two of those running on Brinkley. And I really shouldn't have done, but I, this is where we get to a bit of silly territory. The fact this is the silly one, the one that shouldn't have technically happened, I suppose, in some ways, but it's done. I went back looking for 68s again still. Now, bear in mind, the coaches don't come out till quarter one next year. But I kind of wanted to make sure that I'd um, got some to pull them. And actually, it works out nicely with the bomber command wagon. Because, yes, I have got a Class 68. But it's not a children railways one. It's a DRS Compass 68. Okay. Um... But the chap at Kerno said that these the 68 is liveried like this hauled children railway services for a time. So I thought, right, okay, bring that'll do for me. And do you know what? I like DRS livery. I like the 68 anyway. So even if it ultimately turns out he was making a sale on me, then eh. But um, it is 68018 Vigilant. And Vigilant was chosen between this and fearless uh which fearless the pedigree of fearless which was put um 
before me, before me being the name of a class 15, also a uh, landing assault craft type ship that was there in the Falklands. But I asked Anthony to choose between the two, and he liked the name Vigilant more, so Vigilant's the one I got. So, yeah, there we are. <laughs> that is the most modern locomotive I've ever purchased. And then, finally, I found these, and I thought, well, these will go with my new Hunter at Shunter. Not the England, maybe. But uh, on the Ellis Clark store itself, there were two 16 tonners. And it's like, particularly like this weathered one here, as far as. And the Chort Tippler, now, obviously, no good for a cold board loco, as such. Um, but I had one of these in double O when I was uh, much younger. And it's a bit of a nostalgia trip just to get that back. So, that is the lot. Um, yeah. End of a fantastic weekend. And I look forward to the next time we can do such a thing. Now, I will be at the Gaiden show. Um, I'm looking forward to that one immensely. I might have some spending money still by then. No, no locos, probably. Probably some scenery might be an idea. Who knows? But... Um, the great thing is I've got my track set up, I can play trains, I can have a run and my stuff and just enjoy. Now, I had gone hoping to get a steam engine. My diesels heavily outweigh my steam, which is also kind of influencing other ideas I've got. So, uh, yeah, but we'll, we'll see how that pans out. But yes, I mean, this is a silly thing, that's 13799. For £8 less, I could have got an N-Class Mogul, Mogul in uh, Mogul. Sorry, in uh, Sunshine Livery. I don't like Sunshine Livery. <laughs> I didn't really want another black engine. I want to alter some colour. Because I want black steam engines, I'll run these. Um, yeah. So, with all that being said, thank you, Anthony Joyce, for making the trip over. Thank you to everyone else who made it such a wonderful time. And great to meet you all. And, yeah. I think we can all take a big, yeah, exactly, <laughs> a big yawn and a big uh, now and uh, recuperate. But uh, yes, thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye. I was making a line on my head there. Might as well the hat was. Yes, but take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe and be well.